Our scrutiny project was about internal communications. We originally met um, because of the, uh, the project we had done previously when we found that there was a lack of communication with staff. So we decided the scrutiny panel would look into communication. We asked all the staff members whether they thought on a scale of 1 to 10 were they part of a Cunning Taff team as a whole. Every department did their own job, but no one really felt they were working as one whole team. We met with Jill from T-Pass England, who's been helping us with our scrutiny project, and we went through all the questions and worked through which we thought were ways to improve things. We set up a, a meeting with all the members of the staff. Each department was sitting in the room together and they were actually passing ideas on to each other and I think that would bring a certain amount of cohesion to the staff. For staff that couldn't make the day, we sent out a digital survey so that everyone could be involved and then no one was left out. I was very surprised to learn just how little people spoke to one another in an office, but I really enjoyed the project, it was very interesting. Explore ways to improve communication between teams, departments and the overall organisation, ensuring consistency of information. The focus is really on improving communication. I think we are good communicators as an SMT in general. But I think it's understanding what people want to know and need to know. I think it's a slight difference between the two of those. And we have to cater for everybody. Um, we also understand, I think, that it's so, whether it's about consistency, whether it's about timing, whether it's within departments or with other departments, I think we all have a role to that. I don't think we just look at the SMT for that. We have, everyone should be taking that on board to explain to people what they're doing, why they do it. And then there's another side to that, they're saying what are those outcomes and impacts that those jobs have. And I think that's essential as well. I think we can get that going a little bit better. Although I would say it's a matter of improving because there's lots of interactions within, within the organisation, lots of communication, about variety of information. And I think we just need to build on that and improve that. Explore costs and benefits of new technologies to enable all staff to access communication messages. With the new appointment of the Infrastructure and Systems Manager, the brief would be to explore digitalisation and communication across the group. Um, you'd be looking at the cost and benefits of, of use of technology and uh, supplying equipment and systems for staff to help them eff with effective communication. That'll be across the office and of course with remote working as well. Provide training opportunities to improve the understanding of the roles of other staff members and the board. I think every organisation needs to keep working on its communication on a range of different uh, levels with a, a load of different projects going on. This year we certainly want to focus more on the uh, communication and relationships between the board and staff members and our involved tenants. We want to give uh, lots of great opportunities for those uh, groups to come together and meet. Uh, we've also, the, the new chair and I have got plans to uh, make some videos after each one of the board meetings just to kind of let people know what's gone on in the board meetings um, and it's maybe a little bit more of an accessible form of communication. Um, we've also got to look more at our training opportunities for people to understand each other's roles across departments etc um, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I think the board are going to be really impressed with this set of recommendations from from our uh, third scrutiny group report, uh, so I'm looking forward to the board's response to our scrutineers. Mm -hmm.